we got basically an existing concrete patio right here and we are excavating out to expand this patio. Ben is excavating out right now and we're gonna turn it into something that looks like this. So you can see where the existing patio is and we're expanding it all the way around. And because of some grade challenges, we're gonna have to build some more retaining walls here on these AC units, as well as over here on this side to retain that patio. So tight spaces, got a really steep bank behind us, so that's always a challenge, but we'll make it happen. This is the ColorTech E.P. Henry paver with a dark gray form of border. And uh, we just got the hot tub moved back into place. We just put in the sand lock and wetted it down. So this patio is a wrap. We are on a new project today. So we got a, a new home here, and the nice part is they have not seeded any grass yet. We can just, boom, come in and do our thing. We are putting in a new uh, sidewalk right here. You can see where the stone runs now. It's kind of the same idea, a little bit different. Um, we're doing a step. We just set forms for the concrete right there. It's gonna be a step going up to the front porch. The sidewalk will come out through here and split and go up towards the garage door in one way up there and then another portion of it will come down here and split and run down towards me right here this the sidewalk would definitely do this uh, beautiful home justice and the nice part is we don't even have any grass yet so we can go wherever we want In spite of the rain, we're at it. And I'm telling you what, guys, this is gonna be quite the transformation. As far as how it looks now and how it's gonna look when we pull off, it's gonna be a world of a difference. So that's gonna be fun to do. Today is gonna be a lot of brush removal, tree tearing out, and just general grading work before we can even start putting in our walls. Yeah, this will be this will be a fun one to look on the time lapse because there's gonna be some fast changes. Here we go, got all the brush removed and graded off this massive mountainside. And Ben's over here painting off some lines for our first retaining wall. Here's what we got painted out. And we're gonna come up with this retaining wall. It's supposed to be four feet above grade. That's gonna bring us to about here. It's still gonna be sloped there, but it's gonna be a lot more manageable than it is now. And then below the wall, we're just gonna plaster this with the boulders, make little planting pockets and bank, uh, plant that bank.
finished up this wall. That is completely done, capped. Just add a little boulder there to help with that grade change. And we are gonna be putting a little flower bed on here. Just mulching it, no plants in it. It'll make it a little easier to mow. I spent a lot of time in the excavator grading that bank. Put those boulders in there. It really helped create some level spots to put in plants. The clients decided this morning to put in three service berries, which I think was a great choice. They'll be beautiful there. Here's the general gist of what we have going right off the corner of the house there. There's enough of grade change here that our patio would slope too hard, so we have to bring it up. So we're gonna use uh, weathered sandstone boulders and just put a nice naturalistic edge on there to gain some height. And then the uh, Pepsania flagstone is going in this area right here. She wants to keep a flower bed along the house. There's a really nice Japanese maple down there, so don't blame her for wanting to do that. There's the product that's going in. That's a uh, yeah, PA stand-up flagstone. This stuff can be a bit of a bear to lay because it tends to be pretty irregular. Some of it is a good deal thicker than the others, so definitely harder to put in than um, Black Hills flagstone. But uh, we'll make it work. I like putting in flagstone patios. They have their own unique look of naturalistic. They're fun to put in. There it is. Flagstone patio really adds a pretty uh, neat rustic look. If you like more of a formal style hardscape, this really wouldn't be your pick, but if you like a uh, rustic look, then this is a great option. And the sandstone boulders really complement that look as well, rather than a retaining wall. So very happy with it. Transformed this little backyard and uh, had fun doing it. We're at that magical part of the job where the last 10% happens and boom, it suddenly looks amazing. We have plants to go in here this morning. We're gonna be spreading some river gravel. This bank's gonna get mulched. So yeah, we're gonna be mulching river gravel, um, getting our grades worked out. We already started that Friday evening and we're gonna be putting in easy joint in here. And then we're gonna start washing everything off, blowing everything off and it's gonna look pretty amazing tonight. Okay, so we're getting ready to get started. Derek gave us the rundown of what the project is. We have a patio, a wall, and some French drain to handle the uh, drainage. It's a little known fact, actually. Whenever we do a hardscape project like this, we can usually deal with uh, bad drainage issues. So, you know, not only are they gonna get a nice patio, we're also gonna take care of the chronic drainage problem they've always had here, so. 